Mm -hmm. Right now. We now start. We are both on live and recording. Can we start? So forward, if we are in, you can copy the link and share it on your gather page, okay? Make it for the public, you can share the share it on your gather page because I can't do that. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending from where you are calling from. Today is a special day for us at Youth Gather Global African Region because the region is giving back to a new chapter, which is uh, the national chapter of South Africa. We all know how important South Africa is to Africa. You know, it's always um, a promising country in, South, in, in Africa. And we are proud that we are planting Youth Gather Global at uh, South Africa. And the Youth Gather Global is nothing less or than engaging youth for the United Nations Decade of Action. We want to engage our African youth to rethink about themselves and get involved with global development, not just, not just themselves, but get involved with global development and also um, understand how to uh, uh, work towards their future. And for us to do that, we must get knowledgeable of what we are, where we are, get to know ourselves, empower ourselves, identify our hidden skills and talents, and be able to champion our life towards a much more positive end. Now we, we are thinking in this dimension because the, the United Nations Decade of Action has less than 10 years to go. And the Secretary General has called for initiatives programs that can make sure that we are able to achieve tangible results for the Decade of Action. It's also enough to do that for Africa because the African Union, the Africa as a whole is making it possible to reposition the youth to the development agenda of Africa. So the youth is no longer the time where we begin to think that we are the future leaders. We are this, we are that. What of now? What about now? And for us to do that, we have to adopt to four E's of Youth Gather Global which is the education, empowerment, entrepreneur and education exchange, exchange programs. And all these are lined at as expanding our horizon, you know, into getting us more equipped for a sustainable future. So um, I wouldn't want to waste much of your time uh, because today is Saturday and a very big day. Weekends are usually big. And I want to wish you happy new month in the month of May. It's the month of grace. And we are starting this special month with South Africa. So I want to call upon the, the chair of the governing council to uh, take over the program. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam Chancellor. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you how very, very happy we are that you're here. My name is Osita Anyemeka. My, my job here is very simple. Like uh, the Chancellor just said, we have been thinking about the youth of the world ever since before we open our doors to you all. The idea is to galvanize the strength of our young people and then help them and work with them to become the champions 
of the future that they that they want. So we have spent the period since after our induction and orientation talking to most of you, gleaning your interest to know where the, the young people of your different countries and regions you know, will fit and what we want them to do. And finally, you know, we all get together, if, if we all got together in our first event in December last year to begin you know, you know, to, to deliver this. We have done this with, uh, with Kenya. We are doing this with South Africa now, and uh, we are going to do this with all the regions of the world, you know, choosing them as they are ready. Now, um, as coordinators, as, uh, as champions of the UGEDA Global, you know, you're going to experience an incredibly get to know event because um, what we have now is a growing youth forum that has all facets of youth development like the chancellor you know, you know, indirectly said, ingrained in it. What we have done is to make sure that we don't, uh, we don't tell you what to do. We work with you based on where you are, we work with you based on the fact that we know that as young people looking to lead the world, you also have content and context that can help us help you. So if you take you know, our four E, education, entrepreneurship, empowerment, and exchange you know, you know, programs, this mandate is very is very serious and we take it you know, very seriously because we need to be able to gather youths and then have them move the next step. So what is youth get at global? That's the question everybody would ask. Youth get at global is an outcome of the 2020 United Nations um, uh, at 75 really. Uh, the day of the youth was 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 very big for us. So the Center for SDG Global Education, USA, the Sub-Saharan Open Invest in Africa, and the His Royal Highness Sheikh Usman Chindo Yemusa Second Foundation enacted an action for youth across the world and established Youth Get a Global as a movement for engagement through one campaigns and advocacy, youth for youth program, information sharing, mentoring, monitoring, and orientation. Youth role models. We are creating role models for young people, and and, and we're going to explain that to you very shortly. Leadership development programs, strengthening youth identity towards positive directions, engaging youth to envision themselves as instruments for global action, and stepping up our youth for development agenda through the four E engagement pathway. You remember I told you about our four E already. But to achieve this, Youth Get a Global is paying attention to young people between the ages of 13 and 35, 15 and 35 as members, youth organizations and leaders as partners, and celebrities, philanthropists, and so on and so forth as advisors and sponsors. We also want to say that to achieve this too, youth must be ready, willing, and available to uphold Youth Get Get's vision, mission, and vision. We also have values that have been you know, enacted that I'll share with you guys later. Youth must be ready to become leaders of tomorrow by adding value on a national and global scale. And youths that are ready to learn and improve on themselves are welcome. So what are we saying about our four E's? First, empowerment involves developing their you know, youth inherent skills. Exchange means programs that entail internship opportunities all over the world. Education is the pathway for lifelong learning and entrepreneurship is discovering new ways of combining resources and generating market in the process. So the four is synergies to develop youth to acquire integrated worldview while strengthening them in, in their inherent leadership skills to become part of nation building. The four is you know, will include efforts to create opportunity and foundation of support for youth global engagement and in the quest for nation building all over the world. What are the vision, mission, and values? First, our vision is to lead global youth to become part of nation building. Our mission is to create the opportunity of, and foundation of support for global youth in, the, in their quest for nation building. And our values, yeah, our values are very important to us that in creating a movement in, of engaging youth for global action, youth, go back, youth get a global, is considered the most necessary as a guiding philosophy to achieve the mission and the vision of the initiative. So we're talking about sense of right and wrong, 
growth and development. We are working for them to create the future they, that they want to enable them to make decisions adequately. Our, our values also focus on individual values in building the personal identity, self-perception, enthusiasm, creativity, listening, learning, humility, and personal fulfillment. We are helping them to get go into relationship values that focus on relationship with others, including openness, trust, generosity, and caring. We're also talking about social values, addressing social emotional learning, relationship with society, including leadership and leading, justice, freedom, respect, community, and responsibility. We're also talking about education values, addressing inclusive education, accountability, strategic thinking, and value styles due to new life experiences. But what's our governance structure? Like we said, three entities came together, Center for SDG Global Education USA, Sub-Saharan Open University in Africa, and His Royal Highness Sheikh Usman Chindo Yamusa Fund, the second foundation. The Board of Trustees include Dr. Ada Junior Kike as Chancellor, Dr. Sita Nemeka, that's myself as Chairman, and uh, with His Royal Highness, uh, you know, uh, Sheikh Usman Chindo III as the Secretary General. Youth Get Global also has a governing council made up of Dr. Ada Junior Kika, Dr. Sita Nemeka, uh, where His Royal Highness you know, you know, Chindo Yumusa, Ambassador Fawad Ali, Ambassador Dr. Diane Kenoli, Ambassador Dr. Teresa Martin, Ambassador Laila Rao, Ms. Amaka Gwele, and Ms. Mary Kurek. We will be able to share the details of this with you, but please let me uh, very, uh, tell you how very pleased we are that you're here. South Africa is very important to us because because of the foundation that uh, your country has, you know, you know, has given us since we started speaking with uh, with um, South Africans. What is important to us now is that chapter coordinators, you know, will, will know their rules and responsibilities, so that um, we get them to be able to manage the uh, members of the UGEDA Global in their countries, and then work with the regional coordinators to be able to get UGEDA Global. VMV value missions, sorry, vision, mission, and values uh, shared and understood. We are here to support your work. We are here to, you know, to help you go, you know, you know, go the whole nine yards. And what we are looking for is one million citizens. Members of the Uganda Global are called citizens, and we are, and we say that before we finish with the year, before we go from here to 2022 we will have realized our, our drive to raise 1 million citizens. I want to thank you very much for your time and for listening. Um, and also thank you for having spent Saturday with us because like Dr. Ada said, Saturdays are very, very, very important day in the, in the life of Africans. Next will be the commissioning of the Youth Getter Global South African National Chapter. Thank you and welcome again. Dr. Ada, are you there? Yes, I'm there. And then I'm just going back to um, the commissioning for the chapter. Yes. And I think um, it's still under you to go ahead. Okay, so you take the order of office while I did the commissioning. Yes. Yes, please present uh, present the recipient for, for inaugurate the chapter. Inaugurate the chapter first before the. Okay. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I yes, I want to thank you again for for your time, and I I want to say how very special it is for me to inaugurate the South Africa National Chapter of Uketa Global. My name is Dr. Osita Nemeka. Um, I, I, am the, I, I am a prince of the Trinity of Chubo in Delta State of Nigeria. Uh, on behalf of the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees of Youth Getter Global, on behalf of the members of the Governing Council of Youth Getter Global, I want to specially commission 
Youth Get a Global South African National Chapter and um, align it to Youth Get a Global Africa region. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, the chair for that inauguration. And um, by the power bestowed on me as the chancellor of Youth Gather Global, we hereby confirm the Youth Gather Global National Country Chapter for South Africa. And we clap. Thank you. And I, I don't hear noise from members of uh, those from South Africa. I don't hear your noise. Yay. 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 Yes, yes, yes. You excellent. want it in Arabic, Your Excellency? <laughs> Go ahead. Oh my God. Go ahead, Your Excellency. Do it. Do it. That should be jubilation. And there should be clapping and shouting. Yes. Excellent. 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 Oh. And um I want to hear um, the regional uh, direct coordinator for African region to say something to welcome the, the, the country chapter for South Africa. Okay, <clears throat> thank you so much, uh, Chancellor. It is indeed uh, glad to have uh, a South Africa on board. We've been yearning to have such a, a very beautiful country, a very resilient country with a committed, devoted, and ready youth to be on board and be part and parcel of the Youth Keda Global. Thank you so much. Uh, as, uh, the, as the director of the Africa Regional Coordination, uh, I would like to welcome all the South African youth and um, ask them to remain committed or follow what the, the Governing Council uh, Chair has said. Youth Keda Global unites the youth across the world to focus on one important key issue, focusing on the determination of you as a youth and also being open-minded to learn from others and to work together with others. So don't have much to say. To share but i'm very happy that we have already south african board and congratulations to you for being ready to be part of youth Keda global thank you so much thank you thank you tobias thank, uh, thank tobias you might need to mute yes because thank um you. yeah you mute yourself again yeah. um uh, for what if you are done with the Facebook, can you return me back to host so I can sh make a share of the, or I can send you what you can share on the screen right now. Hello, Fawad. Yes, he's gone for prayers, I guess. You're supposed to return me as the coach, as the host. Okay. Yes, it's prayer time in Pakistan because we Absolutely. have one hour. Absolutely, Ambassador, Ambassador Laila, it's, uh, it's prayer time. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so um, with the with the birth of a new chapter, it has to have a leader, mm. and uh, that is what we are to do right now. And um, I would like uh, um, to introduce the the. Um, appointed country coordinator for South Africa Youth Geta Global in the person mm -hmm. of Tembi Mahua. Who is a, can we have Tembi on the screen? Yes. Um, Hello, thank you, thank you. Excellent. So Tembi is a- Hi Tembi. Uh, is a serious young woman with a passion for serving. She is a student at the University of South Africa, UNISA, in her final year studying Bachelor of Law. Please don't take us to court. A firm mm. advocate for equality and human rights, 
Tembi has worked closely with the law clinic at UNISA and participated in a program designed to educate communities around the region about the law. Tembi has served in the following as follows in different community structures, youth crime prevention, desk coordinator, community police forum secretary, project coordinator, motivational speaker, media liaison officer, MC, conflict resolution officer, marketing officer, community builder, negotiator, disciplinary committee member, and financial officer. She is also one of the directors of a literature organization named Black v Rates, which intends to improve literature in the country and beyond. Tenby is also the global ambassador representing South Africa in the youth opportunities organizations. She is the board and executive secretary for IDO Network International, the IDO Youth Network founder and director. She's also an alumnus of the Young African Leaders Initiative in the Regional Leadership Center. This means that she is a certified leader in the African continent. Tembi has branched into international civic work where she has co-founded a youth division of an international organization and is currently its leader. The division has since had members from 12 different countries in the world and has great aspiration for growth. She has also been featured on national television programs and international platforms. Tembi has also spoken at over 20 high schools and a lot of community programs. She holds certificate in civilian oversight of police, emotional intelligence, law education and project management. She also holds yearly certificate in developing mentoring and supporting youth leadership, strategies for personal growth and development and understanding human rights. As a hobby, Tembi likes to write articles and drama plays, one of which she wrote and directed for a local youth event she had planned in 2016. She also enjoys to make young children happy by doing activities such as face painting and cartoon character imitations. She believes a happy environment is conducive for learning and growth. I want to present to you Tembi Mahua, who will, from this moment, take the lead of the Youth Gather Global as the country coordinator for South Africa. Tembi. So Tembi, I want you to take, um, I know if it is physical, you stand up and take your out of office. But since you are, we are on Zoom, just raise your hand up and say, I. I. Put your name. Tembi Sile Precious Mahua. Hereby accept. Hereby accept. To be, to be the country coordinator, the country coordinator for Youth Gather Global South Africa. For Youth Gather Global South Africa. I promise to abide. I promise to abide by the rules and regulations of Youth Gather Global. By the rules and regulations of Youth Gather Global. And also promise to dedicate my leadership and also promise to dedicate my leadership to the promotion of the mission of Youth Gather Global to the promotion of Youth Gather Global and maintain a model behavior and maintain a model behavior for the decade of our continent Africa for, for the, the interest decade. for the interest of our country, for the interest of our continent, continent Africa. Africa. For, the, for the interest of our continent, Africa. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations.
you make us say congratulations to me. Congratulations. Um, congratulations. Yes. yes. We need a word or two from you. Yes, please. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Um, I'd like to first acknowledge that I know that this is a big responsibility um, and I am willing to, to do my best and my best to do everything that I can offer to ensure that Youth Gather Global really does um, ensure it's, 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 it's um, as its, its mandate as per um, the constitution and as per the rules and regulations. I also will, I'm so excited, you know, to be starting this chapter and to be gathering youth for this purpose because this is the one thing that I'm very passionate about and it speaks directly to me as I am a young person. <laughs> I know uh, maybe my profile might be a bit too long for a young person, but uh, trust me, I'm still very young and I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to, to working very hard to ensure the success of not only this country, of not, not only my country, but this continent and the young people that live in it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, our Youth Together African Regional Coordinator in the person of uh, uh, Tobias Naruki from Kenya is here. Uh, Tobias have to guide you and how to establish the chapter uh, and the Tobias, rules. can you mute, please? Can you mute, please, Tobias? Just mute. On Tobias, mute yeah. yourself. Right. Yeah, Tobias will guide you and how to start your chapter, how to recruit your members, and then you just uh, always with him to get you grounded, okay? So, Tobias, can you... Um, you have to also start a WhatsApp group. We want to know what you are doing, and then he will work with you to start establish such a platform, right? And other things like membership guidelines give you the actual uh, education. The chair has been able to mention one or two, but I know because we are on WhatsApp group, uh, you need to be given a detailed mentorship on running to align with all that. Uh, and I congratulate you. I think you are the second chapter in upgrading yourself for Africa after Africa, Kenya. Yes. So yes. I think you are too far. So can we clap for the <laughs> South African? Yes. We are, we are very, very Without. happy. And interestingly, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it's a woman. You know, I'm gender sensitive. I know. No, you're, to, not gender sensitive. <laughs> you're not gender sensitive. You're not gender sensitive. You know, are, you are, we have you are to, a gender, we have, uh, you're a gender woman. <laughs> Your Excellency, are you there? You know, I'm gender well, sensitive. We want to tell African men here. that I'm waiting uh, until you finish. Very I good. So, I'm glad the that uh, the, the, the second person is Africa as a woman. I know. I am so, Africa also. I know. <laughs> yes. yes, you are Africa. Yeah, we oh. are all Africa. Uh, Thank you so much. The new much. generation, what we have, and the effort, what you're making, Dr. Ada and Dr. Elsida, and all the excellencies, Diana, all our member board, it's fantastic. The leader for tomorrow, which we have with them, charisma, potential, and all that, uh, fighting to make them place and raise them voice to make the change and challenge is because of you. Thank you to each one is giving effort. I know we keep in silence because of what's happening, but we are not silenced. Our heart, our soul, our support is coming soon because just the start today. Thank you again. And South Thank Africa you. is one answer. place, most welcome, one place which there is a cosmopolitan for all African, they are there, merge, but we have to make the difference between being African and being South African, because South African is African. There is no differences. There is inclusion. There is a, a big destiny which waiting for the South African, those merge and mix blood to raise the voice because there is a queen, king, princess, highnesses there, which is tribe, and there is a lot of work waiting us. So the director mm. of zone or the coordinator or the youth which you choose have a big, huge responsibility. And that's the straightening what we have to 
make all of us believe on it. Each one is important with what he's going to achieve and what he's going to add to you together. Because you together, it's not Dr. Osita, it's not Dr. Ada, it's not Diana, it's not Laila, it's not Fawad, it's not Amaka, it's not all of us. It's all international humanity global. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you. And uh, I've been able to share the face of our country coordinator of South Africa. So we welcome you and we ask you to take the mantle to the highest. I want to welcome. be proud that thank I want to tell the men of Africa that women can do much better. So don't disappoint. Thank you. No, no, we know already. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you Thank so you, much. Dr. We know yeah. already. Thank you. So I want to give back to the here to appoint the council uh, advisor for South Africa. Okay. Um, we also will have a couple of announcements after that. Um, what we would the good thing about this program is that um, it's taking quite quite a brisk turn. It's unlike you get a global program. We're almost done already, and I'm, and, and I'm so excited. Okay, um, let me let me take a couple of announcements. Something that will interest um, you get a global South Africa immediately. Tomorrow, um, you you have to perform the magic. You have to perform the magic, Tembi. Tomorrow is our first first training, first global training for you get a global coordinators and members. What we are looking at is to do a series of trainings in, you know, in the month of May, and I'm going to be announcing them piecemeal, one after the other. For, for us in the month of May, um, one of our distinguished, um, I should call esteemed, esteemed uh, trainers, uh, His Her Excellency Ambassador, Dr. Diana Kenali, who is Director of Leadership and Learning Strategy, will be taking us through the post ecosoc Youth Forum, the C Cell Project. Um, this will be the first time ever anywhere in the world where Youth Global is doing the C Cell and Entrepreneurship Training Program, and it's called I Lead. So please, if there is any magic that you can perform between now and when it happens tomorrow, I'm going to send you the announcement so that um, you take that and, and run with it. This is for tomorrow and uh, we are looking at 10 30 a.m eastern standard time and i think 10 30 a.m it's sometime in south africa that will be um, at about no just an hour before now so that um, you get everybody ready for tomorrow after that we will also ask you to please um, get your mem members together and then um, you invite uh, the governing council you know, to, you know, to meet them. And when, when, when we meet them, we should be talking to them directly. Um, apart from that, I think we will leave you with, with these few assignments, you know, you know, for now, and hope that um, you will be encouraged to talk to us at all times. We are already there on your, on your um, uh, WhatsApp group. Our, number, uh, our contacts are there. If you want to talk to us privately, please do. If you want to talk to us collectively, please do. We're here to help you succeed. Anything you want that will help you succeed and make South Africa the champion, uh, national chapter of Africa, we're here to help you. Like Dr. Ada said, anything a man can do, a woman can do also. Maybe do much can... better. <laughs> a, woman, a woman can do much better. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, welcome you to know? the family. Uh, South Africa, welcome, <laughs> welcome to the family. I have looked forward to this for a very long time. Um, my days working as uh, as a member of the NGO Working Group on the World Bank. Each time I was in South Africa, I stayed longer than you know, expected because I learned a whole lot more. Things people don't know about South Africa is that South Africa is the epitome of the rest of Africa. And we're happy and proud that you have joined the family. And I know you get a global goes further from here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Dr. Ada, I think uh, we are going to take a little time to get the advisory for South Africa. 
because uh, I'm going to use the rest of the week, you know, speaking with Tembi and my sister, uh, you know, her highness princess Sheppy, so that we can get what works for South Africa for South Africa. Also, um, I am very interested in, in meeting with uh, His Excellency Andrew Williams Jr. so that um, we'll get uh, the real deal for the country. Yeah, but officially announced that before. You announced her here? Yes, so that, so that all that things will follow, yeah. Okay, uh, can I, you know, can I yield for you to please an, uh, announce that for me? Thank you. Okay. Okay. Well, in the in the um, in our tradition to make sure that we don't step on the toes of any country we establish, we lean on on an organization that is fully registered in that country mm. to um, yeah. to be our parent house to house the youth Gather global. And that will also help us to provide us the, 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 the guideline of operation as a, as, a, as a project, because Youth Gather Global is not an organization, rather it's a project. It's a movement to get 1 million youths across the world to engage them for the United Nations Decade of Action. So it's an interesting thing that in the course of discussion since after the ECOSOC Youth Forum, we are able to align an understanding with the, um, uh, hold on, I want to pronounce this name very well. <laughs> um, the CEPI Foundation. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, no, uh, no this on. one is Naledi Atepe. The foundation is different. Yes, this Naledi. one is Naledi, Naledi. Very good. So, yes. So, we are happy to <laughs> align with this organization. And then, um, an interesting thing that most involved with youth, and they have good programs that support the youth and encourage the youth just as the youth get that global. So okay. we are proud to have this organization as our partner okay. for South Africa. Good. And by this understanding, we are appointing the president and founder of that organization, Princess Tisepi, to be our advisor for You'd get that global South Africa. Yay! Tembi! 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 our, our uh, can you show yourself, uh, princess? I'm here. You, yes, so you are good. So we can now look at her as our advisor for South Africa. If South Africa, you'd get a make mistake. Me, I will not go to jail in Hasta. She will be the one to go to <laughs> so, so she has to be up and doing to make sure that they are on the right track. So and she's no a woman, right? She's another awesome. woman, right? Of course, she's another woman. Okay. This new year that is never, is not anti-government. Please, okay. we are not anti-government. But we are yes. in support of government. Yes. Mm. To pull the youth to action. If the if government is not doing anything to interest the youth, we can tell the government, but we cannot fight them. So, and a uh, princess, thank God, she's a titled woman. She has a, a dignity. She has an honor. She's not a toy that can. It's not someone that can be toy with. Her voice is strong, and she has been an advocate within South Africa for a long time. So we welcome her and the uh, uh, princess. I give you the floor to make some, to make a comment. Wow. Um, thank you very much, Dr. Ada. Thank you very much um, to to the chair, uh, Prince, and thank you very much to your whole committee. And thank you for for trusting us with this big, huge task. So um, I would like to thank you. And before I go any further, 
I just would like to reiterate that Naledia Tepi is a business consultancy that also is uh, registered uh, here in South Africa and also in the USA and uh, in, in Los Angeles. So it is so fitting that we will be able to carry this task as mammoth as it is, that it sounds. And then I'd also like to just reiterate that our president here, that Dr. Ramaphosa is very much an advocate of women leaders and making sure that we occupy this space because we are just as capable. And, um, you know, with those words, so we have full support of our home. And on here on the webinar, I have people that have been mentoring me, that have been walking with me this journey of probably three decades in this, we call it ministry, we call it uh, service. So from uh, whether pastors, from our cultural institutions, from our government, and from just the sisters that have been surrounding us. So I am humbled really, and to be standing on your shoulders that today we are here to witness what God can do with um, human beings when we work together. Furthermore, I just would like to say also to the UN Youth Gathering, really we are humbled and we are honored that we are the pioneers in, in the country to be the ones that have been given to birth this child and more so because we are women indeed. We commit to serving alongside all other leaders that are already on this platform and also to ensure that our youth is supported and encouraged to make a sustainable impact. We all know that in this decade of action, which is also as we are working towards Agenda 2030 into Agenda 2063, which I don't know if any of us will be there, but into, within mm -hmm. this decade of action, let us make sustainable impact. We are all working on the sustainable uh, goals, all 17 of them. Unfortunately for us, or fortunately for us as leaders, we cannot just choose one. But where we are passionate about and where we have found a common interest is under education. And that one is what made me to say yes to this calling is even as heavy as it sounded. So with those words also, we are uh, promising and giving our word to continue advocating for education. We know that education in our continent is really is a need and is not just uh, a privilege. So with, well, while we are saying so, yes, I wear many hats also from the indigenous community. We will make sure that we leave no one behind in this decade of action. Inclusivity, it is what we work on. Yes, Madam Leila, as we have said, South Africa is a home for all nations. We are a home that is well, that has welcomed everyone. So therefore, we're not just are talking as South Africans, we are talking as the continent as well. So the impact and the voice that we carry is the voice of all Africans. So in the true principles of Ubuntu, we will work in a, as a collective with individuals and organizations who share in the passion for development and progress in our continent and even in our country, all nine provinces, leaving no one behind. That is the motto, that is the, the, the vision. And we will carry on with the mission and the vision of the youth gathered. We will be directing them, we will not be instructing them. We will be told by them as to what do they have, what do they want to do. As we know, Africa also is a very youthful continent. So we want to say, the youth are not the leaders of tomorrow, but time is now. Let us all join our hands. In Africa, we have always been working as Lithima, as a collective. We have never worked as individuals. So let us all hold hands. All the leaders that have already, have already gone ahead of us, let us all work together to make this a success. And thank you, thank you very much. Really, we are humbled, humbled and feel honored. Thank you very much. Kyalebo. Mm. Kyalebo. Yes, yes, you remember that, Doctor. <laughs> yes. yes, you're my sister. I can't forget that. Indeed, thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, so thank you so much uh, for that wonderful time. And then uh, I will hand you over to the chair of this uh, noble project, Initiate Movement, uh, Dr. Osita, within the week, yourself, um, uh, Tembi, and um, uh, I think you mentioned her hand, so to discuss further 
yes. on in the, consolidating this initiative. And then yes. we'll look forward to the next action of Get to Know South Africa, which will be your own program. And Absolutely. we'll take you from there. Okay. Can, okay. I, can I invite His Excellency Andrew Williams Jr.? Sure, yeah, sure. To please, to please give us a word. And as I thank him for being one of the backbones of, um, of South Africa, he's the president of Five Points for Youth. So we yeah, are very before, proud. Before you <laughs> say that, I just want to share the, the poster the for the training okay. tomorrow. It's for all the youth and everyone who is also interested in championing the future of the youth. So uh, this program is tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. It's a, a month training. And at the end of the month, everyone that participated fully in all the training will receive a certificate. So it's left for every chapter, not only South Africa chapter, we want to see youth in action. The registration is too poor, only 30 people registered. And I know we have more than that, you know. So we want to get the youth on board. It's about you, you need knowledge, you know. And remember that education is power. And Youth Gather Global has been able to put this together for the month of May. And um, in line with our outcome from the ECOSOC Youth Forum held in April. So you take the uh, information and then send us email at contact at youthgetherglobal.org or youthgether.global at gmail.com. So over to you. Uh. Okay, um, I, I want to welcome um, his, you know, his Highness Andrew Williams, the president of uh, Five Feet Points USA to give his word. Your well, thank, well, thank you so very much. I'm very honored to be here representing and supporting my beloved daughter, Sepi Batlong, Princess in South Africa. I'm also very honored to be the USA representative for the Lady and Sepi. So I'm standing here in the United States as president of Five Points Youth Foundation. We already made our commitment <clears throat> to uh, the United Nations decade on the action and delivery of the SDGs. We made that in 2015. First, from 2015 to 2020, we uplifted the legacy of Kofi Annan, that first Secretary General from Sub-Saharan sub uh, sub Africa in 2000, who launched the Millennium Development Goals. So let us remember that what we're doing now is only a continuation. The Sustainable Development Goals is only another iteration of a thousand year plan and that too aligns with the African Union Agenda 2063, in that the common African position on the post-millennium development goals that was prepared uh, in association with the Agenda 2063 is the largest regional contribution to what we now know as the Sustainable Development Goals. So in that regard, I'm here in Los Angeles, California. I've previously made a commitment to involve at least 10,000 new members of the United Nations Global Compact to uplift the legacy of Kofi Annan. So your intent to uh, recruit a million youth worldwide falls completely in line with my efforts. So I'll do everything I can to support Princess Sheppe and Youth Gather. Thank you so much, Dr. Ada, and everyone involved. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your, your Highness, um, we're looking forward to working with you and with uh, my sister, the princess. Um, oh, oh, just before I go, let me, let me do say too, <clears throat> that although I was born here in the United States in Macon, Georgia in 1958, it was August 1st of last year that the Easy Ebo Palace in uh, Ghana, Accra, Ghana, representing the Nigerians in Ghana, that is, uh, that is who inducted me as prince. COVID-19 prevented me from going to be in schools, but I hope to do that later this year. So consider me also as a champion of Nigeria and of the Akan Kingdom, which inducted me on August 25th as a member of the Akan Kingdom. So I'm here representing the whole world, and I look forward to making sure that we, we let everyone know 
that you are African, not because you were born in Africa, but because Africa was born in you. Thank you. Mm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Excellent. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you so much. Um, I think um, at this point, we will raise our hands to start drawing the curtain. Uh, I want to thank Ambassador Laila Rawl, Director of Programs, for an excellent contribution that she made. And I want to call her back now to give a vote of thanks as we close. Ambassador. Laila? Oh, okay. Let me, yes, let me take the vote of thanks then, and then we'll close. Um, on behalf of Youth Get a Global, on behalf of the, the, the Chancellor and the, and the Governing Council, I will sit in America. We want to thank all of you. Uh, I want to thank um, my friend and mentee, the Youth Get a Global Africa Coordinator, Tobias Naruki of Kenya. I want to thank Cornelius Chimwani for having made it possible you know, to be here. Um, Abel Hussein is here. Uh, Sam Kedube is here. Um, I want to thank Sam Gwenyana and uh, Muraka Gobalile. Uh, sorry if I get your names wrong. I have to learn African you know, from, from the top you know, to bottom. And I know that uh, very soon I will qualify very well. Now, I want to thank my sister, Princess Sheffi. Um, what you have done, I have followed your work. You know, let me, let me be proud to say that, you know, now, yes. After, after the EcoSoc program, yes, I, I went behind your back to find out who you really are. And I am so very proud. Um, yes, I talk about it all the time. And I know you're going to be a great example to our youth. I also know that the quality you bring and what you know, His Highness Andrew William Jr. said now, all other regions will have to contend with Africa. The way we're going with we, we Good Global, yes, all of the continents of the continent of Africa. And we are proud to say that just because we know that we are Africans. And like His Highness said, Africa is born in us. Let's, yes. Yes, let's take that as, as a common family mantra and then um, take it in good faith that we are here to lead. We are here to show the world what we are made of. I want to thank you all so very much for everything that we, that we promised today and for the things that we're going to do beyond today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Before Excellent. We go, thank you so much. Excellent. Yes. Thank Before we go, yeah. Madam, uh, yes. Dr. Ada, I yes. just would like to acknowledge the presence. Among us, we have a very important guest. I'm not going to say the name because I didn't ask for permission, but he also probably is from the office of the presidency. So all what we have been doing here, probably it will be reported back and then we will also probably be getting the support. So we are very honored that uh, they made time to be here with us, really humbled and honored. And we, we take this appointment very seriously and their presence being here, we know that the country is really behind us or even around us to support us. So we are very, very honored. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, just Thank before we, 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 we end the program, I would love uh, everyone to be on video so that we can have a snapshot. Yes. Can we Thank all you. come on video, please? Can we all be on video, yes, please? please? Excellent. Excellent. If you, can, if you can hear us, please get on video. Yeah, send me back yes. on video. Or shall we graduate everybody? Is it possible to graduate everyone so that we can see everyone, them? All... Every, everyone is promoted to violence, okay. everyone. So let's um, see the videos. Yes, 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 yes. I ha we have to have a picture. Yes. Uh, uh, Andrew, Andrew. Okay, I you you Palisa. Dr. Seto, Palisa Mafego. Welcome. Yes. Yes, girls, I'm gay. And Lathan, is Lathan there? Yeah, Lathan, you. And Excellent. Audala, Hussein. Audala, Audala Hussein. Right. Yes. Dr. Sitone. Dr. Sitone. Dr. Sitone. 
Dr. Citrulli. Yes. Sir. Oh my Dr. God. This is Let's the family. The... I tell you. Let's have the snapshot. Yes. So smile now. Yay. Yay. The same. Good you get a global. <laughs> You'd get a global yeah. South Africa. You are yes. making Kenya. Kenya yes. from. Uh oh. Yes. Yes. Audala, can you be on video? Audala, be on video, please. Please. Thank you. Yes. And Kenya. Okay. Kenya must be trembling. Kenya, you must tremble. Kenya is scared now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Nobody asked Nairobi, can you hear South oh, Africa? Chia, are you taking the picture? Okay, someone yes. is coming yes. in. Let me, yes, let me I am. put, let me put the question. In. Someone is coming in. Okay. Me, uh, bam. Okay. Doors. Doors. <laughs> All right. There we go. Smile now. This is very good. Oh, South Africa has something else. Look at yes. The they, they've always done like this. Uh, this go. program is with in less than 24 hours. I yes. tell you. Yes. I got notice this morning for this program. I tell you, I'm Thank so you. impressed. Thank you. you see? Thank you. Okay. What happened? Where is that? Tell me. Yes. Okay. We have another royal. Yes, Princess Nikki was here. So another picture, please. Balisa come. Balisa come. South Africa is represented. We have royals, oh we have parliament, we this have government, we have oh we have everyone, we have community, we have the pastors, we have the doctors, yes, we As have everyone, sister, all, sister, all, all members of community, all oh members of community are represented. Okay. Let's get on yes, board. Another, Let's get them both and, for and, the people. And Chia, Chia, I want to tell you that South Africa is ready for African regional summer camp in August. Okay, yes. let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Let me talk with uh, Tembi and my sister Sheffy in yes. the week so that we start planning. Yes. Indeed. God Indeed. bless you all. This is so, I'm so proud. You. I'm so proud. Now I know what Africanness means. See you to tomorrow. Me. God bless you. That's, yeah. That's right. oh, see you all tomorrow. Wow. wow. Maybe. God bless you tomorrow. Yes, indeed. Tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you so okay. much. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Moro. Thank you, thank you, bye. Oh my God, it's wonderful, wonderful, it's wonderful. It's so beautiful. It's wonderful. Oh my God. Get us better. Okay. That's excellent. That's excellent. That's excellent. That's excellent. Maybe a uh, princess, 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 Shepi. Uh, uh, some Gwenya, some Gwenya is also a very productive uh, lady. She's a business lady. Maybe you can collaborate with her. She's present here, although she didn't talk. Okay. Hmm. Um. Yes. Yes. And uh, Doctor Doctor Ada has called my name. My, my numbers. We are all. We need everybody. We are going to be speaking yeah, even yeah, as yeah. early as tomorrow. We don't mind. And yeah. Um, like wow. That's on, great. On training. Yeah. yeah to wow. you, need to, you need to add them to the African Regional Chapter on WhatsApp. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to do so right away. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Please, can I'll you take you. can you take this picture with the remaining people online? Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. The banner, yes. Very good. Thank you guys. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, Dr. Ada. Thank you. Happy uh, new month, everyone. Yes. Thank you, Tobias and Canalus. Congratulations to a new chapter. Congratulations to you, Shia, for this new birth. It's not Thank easy. you. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chancellor. No, you have led this Thank very you. well. Thank We're you. very proud of you, Madam Chancellor. God bless you. Uh, thank, thank you, thank you. And God bless you for bringing oh, tomorrow. the forward. Don't forget tomorrow. See you tomorrow, tomorrow at please, 10, guys. 10, 10, 10, 10. Yeah, we are proud of you, Chancellor, for leading us. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh. Not, 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 not.